Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. The Pittsburgh Steelers released their first depth chart of the 2021 season over the weekend. And no, it doesn't mean much. If the league didn't make them do it, they probably wouldn't publish these. I promise you Mike Tomlin nor Kevin Colbert is painstakingly poring over who to name the first team center to start camp. But there was one part of the depth chart that was at least sort of interesting. Maybe not surprising, but interesting. Najee Harris was listed as running back one. On the surface, that seems like a no-brainer. Of course he is. That's why the team invested in a running back in the first round. But it's rare for the Steelers to name a rookie atop the depth chart at the very beginning of training camp, even first-round picks. Usually those guys are second string or at least given the or label, the 1A, 1B, with another veteran. Not with Harris. He was the clear-cut starter. Compare that to someone like Kendrick Green, granted a day two pick, but the starter to kick off training camp and name the starter for the Hall of Fame game against the Cowboys. He wasn't listed first string. He was second string behind incumbent J.C. Hossenauer. We're not yet at practice, but even early on in camp, it doesn't sound like Harris has gotten a ton of work. The team is already being mindful of his reps, both for practice and upcoming preseason action, while evaluating guys behind him like Anthony McFarland. Here's the point to all of this. The Steelers know Harris is their guy, their bell cow, their feature back, their every down player, and they're not being shy about it. He may be a rookie, but he's already being treated like a veteran, like this was Le'Veon Bell in his prime. It's far from the only one, but so far the clearest sign how they intend to use Harris this season, as the guy in his production should reflect that fact. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Dave Bryan every Tuesday and Friday.